while we start the first few rhymes. Ein Mensch, der sich ganz still bedacht, was er mal wieder falsch gemacht, ist lobenswert, denn das ist wichtig. Erkenn den Fehler, dann wird's richtig. Which means, <laughs> someone who gives a proper thought to everything he did wrong again is worth of praise because that's important. Recognize your mistake and then it gets done right. I could not bring that into a rhyme without bringing it completely out of context, unfortunately. That's fair. Chapter one. Uh, I guess the best, best translation would be, well, the German is Treffen is Trumpf, means hitting a trump, if one would say that. <laughs> also, warum hast du beim letzten Angriff den Gegner nicht abgeschossen? Nicht darüber wegreden, mein Lieber, das ist zu billig. Du meinst, das könnte man hinterher nicht mehr feststellen? Doch, wenn man nachdenkt, geht das. So, why didn't you shoot your enemy down in your last attack? Don't talk it away, that's too cheap, my dear. You think one can't analyze that afterwards anymore? Oh yes, if one thinks thoroughly about it, one can. Aus vielen Frontaufnahmen von Luftkämpfen und aus Berichten weiß man, dass bestimmte Fehler im Luftkampf beim Zielen und Schießen immer wieder gemacht werden. Bei dir wird es ähnlich sein. Hey, Ultra. From various gun camera footage oh, from air friends. battles, one knows that certain mistakes in aiming and shooting in aerial fights are committed over and over again. That will be very similar in your case. And now we're gonna read the eight most committed mistakes in these aerial fights. Erstens, du schießt aus zu großer Entfernung. Zweitens, du gibst falschen Vorhalt. Drittens, du schießt aus ungünstiger Position. Viertens, du knüppelst nicht sauber. Fünftens, du bedienst die Waffenschaltanlage falsch. Sechstens, du lässt dich von der Leuchtspur täuschen. Du hast deine Maschine lange nicht nachjustieren lassen. Achtens, du hast die falsche Munition gewählt. Number one. Uh, you shoot from too far, uh, from too great distance. Number two is your lead is off. Mistake number three is you shoot from an inconvenient position. Number four, you mishandle your stick is the best translation I can come up with. <laughs> it's it's a little slang word. Knüppel, du knüppelst dich sauber. Knüppel is kind of I don't even know how to translate that. Knüppel originally is like like a bat, like someone you hit over someone's head. But you also call it like as a slang word for your flight stick. And knüppeln is kind of the verb made out of it. Oh, I should say um, that it might start to get obvious a little later in the next chapter. Um, this whole sheath fever, the whole shooting guide, is uh, to be more attractive for the pilots, I assume, a lot of like double meaning or like it's a little sexual. <laughs> I was noticing that in the pictures you sent. Yeah. <laughs> well, but. Um, try to to uh, to remember when I read something that's somewhat you know I have two meanings then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up if I if I if I'm not able to translate it correctly oh yeah I chose winter because it's always fits fits this World War II feeling better and and it's better for visual for, for spotting planes <laughs> I'm liking it I am holding short of we wanted Alpha. Okay, I watch your stream and keep reading. The um, aircrafts are flying perpendicular to the runway on the coastline, left, right, left, right. Okay, I will take off and start looking. Plus, I should hold here. 
No, I, I'm not running. That, that's a little bit too much challenge. Like the translation and flying myself. You, you go for it. Um, mistake number five. You use your weapon switchboard wrong, which I have no idea how you would do that. It has only one switch, right? You let yourself fool by the tracer ammunition. You haven't adjusted your machine for a while. You are crossed. Or you chose the wrong ammunition. So these are the uh, eight most committed mistakes, apparently. Natürlich schießt du auch aus anderen Gründen nicht ab. Aber diese acht wichtigsten Fehler wollen wir einmal eingehend und ohne Theorie betrachten. Überlege dir bei jedem Punkt bitte, wie du dich bisher verhalten hast und wie du es besser machen kannst. Of course you miss your shot, uh, uh, of course you miss your shot for other reasons too, but these eight most important mistakes we want to analyze more thoroughly and without theory for once. For every point, please think about it. Um, think, for every point, please think about how you behaved in the past and how you can do it better. Let's go. If you have a, if you have a stable flight, I think it would be time for page five. Switching page five. Let me know if that's big enough. Diggity. Uh, <laughs> the wait for the delay. It's probably big enough, the way I have to read it. There's a little rhyme in the lower left corner of that picture. Das man so oft daneben trifft, ist für das Selbstvertrauen gift. Which means, uh, Pretty much missing your target off hoists your self confidence. Or missing your missing your target off. Yeah, I, I, I guess that's where it starts. That's where the plane has a little hanger on the tail. What angels should I be looking for these targets at? Oh, this one, I found one. Okay, good. I gotta admit, I put the uh, Mustangs on civil, uh, civil planes. So you can uh, remain there, and I was just hoping they do not uh, uh, start evading when they are civil planes until you fire at them. Ein rechter Jägermann sich möglichst nah an das Bild heran. Means a real huntsman tries to get as close to the prey as possible. Die Schussentfernung. Angenommen, du könntest mit einem Feuerstoß auf 600 Meter Entfernung einen Treffer erzielen, dann erzielst du mit derselben Munitionsmenge aus 300 Meter Entfernung mindestens vier Treffer, aus 200 Meter Entfernung mindestens neun Treffer und aus 100 Metern Entfernung mindestens 36 Treffer. Assume with one volley from 600 yards, 
See how close I can get here before I take my shot. Well, you, you're taking all the next step that way already. <laughs> in großer Entfernung fliegt und schießt es sich leichter, gewiss, aber es gibt nur Löcher in der Luft. Und verschießt du deinen Munitionsvorrat nicht schon auf zu große Entfernungen. Nachher in der Nähe musst du die entscheidenden Treffer erzielen, die eine viermotorige Maschine zum Abschuss brauchen. Wie viele haben sich schon die Haare geraubt, weil sie sich zu schnell und vor dem entscheidenden Nahkampf verschossen hatten. Und du musst schießen, bis der Gegner fällt. Die großen Kisten können eine ganze Menge vertragen. Not sure I'm close enough yet. Ja, ah, yeah, I doubt it. Golly, that sure does make a big difference, mister. Getting right in there. My clouds don't look the same as this diagram here. Your cloud? 
Yeah, I'm looking at these clouds, and they're just yeah, they're really they're thin and much less exciting. Much less like that. So that little piece of poetry in there is, fängt eine Fortress an zu qualmen, dann trotz noch nicht vor sie gefallen. Schieß weiter. Manche schon bereute, dass sie ja bereits zu früh sich freute. Which means, when a flying fortress starts to smoke, don't dream of victory quite yet. Keep shooting. Many a pilot regrets that he was early heavy. Early heavy was the translation? Uh, early heavy? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know that. <laughs> so don't I, blow my load too soon. Got it. Yeah. It's, uh... I try my best to get the sense over. Like I said, I couldn't get the rhyme over as well and not mess up the topic. Just try to, to keep the double meaning a little. I just gotta find another target here. The next and last chapter for today is estimating distances. Starting with the rhyme. Schätzt du Entfernungen zum Ziel, tust mit Verstand, nicht mit Gefühl. When estimating distances to target, do it with intellect, not by heart. I guess this is intellect the best way to say it. I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Or or gut. Yeah. We, we would well, say don't trust your gut on this one. Yeah. Yeah. Like for the not for the by heart. Yeah. Do it with intellect, not 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 by gut. Or not with your gut. Anyway, you get the point. So estimating distances. Dem Gefühl nach bist du noch 100 Meter vom Gegner entfernt. Mit Verstand geschätzt oder gemessen, aber noch 200 Meter. Auf das Gefühl ist kein Verlass. Darum hat man dir ein Revi vor die Nase gesetzt. Sein Vorhaltekreis umschließt immer ein Zehntel der Zielentfernung. Eine feine Sache. And by heart or you closed in to 100 yards, but with estimated or measured, uh, but with estimation or measured, then it's not wrong. Perhaps you closed in to 100 yards, but estimated or measured with comprehension or intellect, whatever fits best, it's still 200 yards. You can't rely on your feelings. That's why they put a gun sign in front of you now. Leading circle or lead circle? Or does he lead the circle or lead circle? What I gathered from all that was that they're using the mill relation formula to determine known distance or a known width yeah. versus true yeah, distance. Yeah, we, we get to that, we get to that, but what would you call it lead circle or leading circle? Okay. So I'm, I'm asking, would you say lead circle or leading circle? Who knows? Can you hear me? I can. Okay, good. I just call it the leading circle. The leading circle always includes one tenth of the shooting distance. What a nice feature. It said one tenth? A firm. Okay. Well, I'm going to adjust these volumes one more time, real quick. I can yell louder. <laughs> nine, 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 nine. Wenn okay, du nämlich die Größe eines Gegners kennst, zum Beispiel die Spannweite eines Jägers, 10 Meter, und er passt gerade einmal in den Vorhaltekreis hinein, dann ist er 100 Meter entfernt. Denn 10 Meter sind ein Zehntel von 100 Metern. Passt er zweimal in den Kreis hinein, so ist er natürlich doppelt so weit, also 200 Meter entfernt. For a moment, because if you know the size of your enemy, for example, the wingspan of a fighter, 
10 meters and he just fits one time into your leading circle, then he is 100 meter away. Because 10 meters are one tenth of 100 meters. If he fits two times into the circle, he's of course twice as far as uh, twice as far away, 200 meters. And uh, I assume it's like about 200 meters that to all me. requires to set the wingspan correctly in advance. Doesn't say that here. I don't know. What aircraft is this even for? It's pretty non-specific, isn't it? Yeah. I think the Dora has something adjustable, but I think this is pretty standard. Sure. But you can resize it, right? I don't know if you can resize the uh, 109. The Kelfiust? Well then, then that might be accurate for that. Alright, for the rest of the map, Merke dir folgende Regel. Gegner größer in den Metern, mal Zahl, die oft in den Kreis enthalten, mal 10. Gleich Entfernung in Metern. Remember the following rule. Enemy size in meters times the number he fits into the circle times 10 is the distance in meters. Beim Bomber also, der rund 30 Meter Spannweite hat und zweimal in den Regen reinpasst, ist die Entfernung 30 mal 2 mal 10 gleich 600 Meter. Wenn du das viel übst, sagst du nachher in Gedanken nur noch 30 mal 2 und ergänzt von selbst 600 Meter. Remember the following rule, enemy size in meters times the number of I don't know where really that, did I? Um, so in case of a bomber who has about 30 meter wingspan and fits twice into the circle, the distance is 30 times 2 times 10 equals 600 meters. So 30 times 2 times 10. If you practice that a lot, you'll later think only 30 times 2 and complete subconsciously 600 meters. That, that was the translation, that wasn't me. Copy. So, nun setz dich hin, nimm Bleistift und Papier, male Vorhaltekreise und Gegnerflugzeuge in verschiedenen Entfernungen hinein, so wie die neben stehen. Zeigen. Präge dir die Bilder gut ein, denn du kannst dann, wenn es ernst wird, schnell erkennen, ob erstens du nicht zu früh mit dem Schießen beginnst, zweitens, ob es Zeit zum Abdrehen ist, wichtig beim Angriff von vorn, oder drittens, wie schnell der Gegner ist, in welcher Zeit bist du 500 Meter herangekommen. So now sit down, take paper and pen, and draw lead circles and enemy planes in various distances into it, into it as shown beneath. Not Sorry, I just okay. realized I was supposed to be on page 9. No, but you can. Oh. But then, then, that's fine. Do it. Okay. The translation is included in that one. Then everybody will look at the pictures and miss the math, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, we don't want them to be too good at this, because then our opponents get more difficult. Right. Hui, hui, hui. Um, because when it gets serious, you can then recognize immediately if you start shooting too early, if it's time to break off, important when attacking front or how fast the enemy is, and what time did you gain 500 meters. Ähm, die Revi-Bilder müssen dir also geläufig werden, dass du ohne Rechnen und Nachdenken gleich weißt, Entfernung 400 Meter. Denn zum Rechnen ist am Feind keine Zeit und Nachdenken klappt nicht. Nur weil die Übung fehlt, wird so oft die Entfernung falsch eingeschätzt und damit falsch gekämpft.
the gunsight images have to become so familiar to you that you know without calculating or thinking distance 400 meter because at the enemy there's no time to calculate and thinking doesn't work probably not say that this way but that's what I can come up with right now just because uh, it, it sounds great man this is this is awesome does it make sense <laughs> yeah I mean, obviously the German we, we stuff on, is lost on me, just because I'm still ignorant of all that. That's fine, that's totally fine. You can just ignore that. It's real authentic though. Uh, we, can, we can test the math on that thing. I mean, you, you have that thing, it's, it's about 30 meters. So 30 times 2 times 10. Well, not necessarily times 2. It's like 30 times how often it fits into the circle times 10. For the bombers. For the bombers. Well, because I, I already shot the bomber wingspan. down. <laughs> it's wingspan times the amount it fits into the circle times ten. That's wingspan the times fitment times ten. Yeah. Right. So fighters are have a ten meter wingspan. That's how they calculate just the, as the average. So that, so that would be, and then let, let, let's say it fits one time in the circle. It's like 10 meter wingspan times one in, times into the circle times 10 it equals a uh, hundred meters. Yeah, that's right. I do not know how that works in the D9. I assume that the same is accurate. Uh, once you set the side to the according wingspan. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe the math doesn't work there. Maybe, well, wait, wait, when, when was the door issued? Do you remember? The door would have been pretty late in the war. I don't know what year specifically, but it was a late model. Yeah, it was late. I don't remember when, when, when the planes basically stopped fighting. Definitely not good for this poor, poor I mean, engine. This, this guide was issued in 1944, so can't be much later. So 10 times 2 is 20. Times 10 is 100, or, wow, 200. This guy's 200 meters. If it's like, what, twice in the now circle? Now he's 100 yeah, meters. Twice, twice in the circle, so it's 10 times 2 times 10. 200 meters, yeah. 100 and if meter, he only fits half? Uh, then he's 200 meters. But if it's one time, he's 100 meters. Oh, he fits half. Uh, yep, I'm, I'm, I'm not done yet. You, you, you have it on the picture with the, with the lady. <laughs> ah, yes. Or, or, or actually right below that, more accurate, with the bomber fits, but that's the 30s. It's like 10 times. I don't know. I, 4, 4 when this one got to halfway, I noped right out of there too, so. I think the yeah. lady was pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Too close for that. Where'd go? Switching to bug out. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I mean, good practice is the, the hunter game, but uh, yeah, I don't have a picture of that. It's just something with a tripod with a gun side and someone holding a mirror, a, a mirror and on a tripod and you practice this because there was no sexual component involved so I didn't make a picture. Alle viermotorigen Bomber haben ca. 30 Meter Spannweite. Die einmotorigen Jäger haben rund 10 Meter Spannweite. 
Also vier motorige Bomber, einmal im Vorhaltekreis, drei Meter, äh, 300 Meter Entfernung. Ein motorige Jäger, einmal im Vollkreis, 100 Meter Entfernung. Das mean Bombers, one time in the circle, 300 meters, uh, 30 meters wingspan, one engine, the uh, single engine fighters, one time in the circle, 100 meters. So just try to punch that into your brain over and over with similar examples. Zwei motorige Flugzeuge schwanken zwischen 16 und 28 Meter Spannweite. Also Typenkunde betreiben, sonst haust du daneben. Uh, twin engine aircraft range between 16 and 28 meters wingspan. And then, I don't know how to maintain that sexual double meaning. So learn <laughs> the types of the aircraft or you're gonna miss. <laughs> kind of like, I don't know, learn, learn your types or you're gonna miss. I, I, I don't know. Okay. It's, it's very subtle anyway. Even in German. Make sure you know what you're hitting. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Make sure. <laughs> okay. You don't want to be surprised in Bangkok. <laughs> yeah. So that's something I honestly didn't know. Um, I mean, I knew that this is ranging in the gun sight, but I didn't know how. Now we have the formula. The yep. wingspan times am uh, amount of the wingspan in the circle times 10. Yeah, anytime you have a known height or width distance and mills through an optic, as long as the mills are fixed to the power of the optic, so either first focal plane for adjustable focal length optics or obviously unadjustable ones, it, it doesn't matter. But uh, whenever that's the case, you can use mills to estimate distance with the mill relation formula, which is yeah. one mill is one meter at 1,000 meters. Yeah, I've no. done that uh, on long-range shooting with scope, but um, I wasn't sure if those those gun sights were uh, set up in uh, radiance so or what it's called. I'm assuming that that's what this has to be set up in, but it it seems like they're marked in thirds, like three mils per line or something, just to get the powers of ten multiplication in there. Yeah. Just have a pre-recording of yourself. Yeah, and then put some filters over it. But um, if I mean, funny or not, it's it's interesting. And the next chapters get also. Uh, are they get, well, are they gonna get more technical? At least they have some more of this this, this math. The next thing is uh, lead. Ooh. I'm already excited for episode two. be very clear that the semi-cartoon nudity presented here is for historical purposes. <laughs> there weren't really any yet. Alright, the clouds maybe. Yeah. Semi-naked. 
Yeah, I know that most people have probably seen worse than presented in, in the artistry here in public, so we'll just hope that everyone knows it's in uh, good taste, even if the jokes aren't.